One of the interesting stories that uh, came out of the, the Winter Olympics, to me at least, was the success of Norway. This little country has only like five million or eight million people, and they just dominated in all the medal-winning things. They just blew the doors off every other country. And they've been doing this for years. And so what came out of that, or what has come out of that, is now skiers and other Winter Olympic athletes, they go to Norway to train with the people that train there and to learn all the stuff that's, that's going on. Which brings me to the second half of the physical side of put your ass where your heart wants to be. You know, just like the skiers that, from America and other countries go to Norway to train, there's another aspect to put your ass where your heart wants to be. We were talking in an earlier episode about how we meant if you want to be a writer, sit down in front of the keyboard. If you want to be a dancer, go in the studio, etc. But the, the next version of the physical aspect of this is move. Move your physical body to the place where your dream can take place. For instance, go to Paris, go to New York, go to Nashville, go to Austin. Like Hemingway went to Paris, Bob Dylan went to Greenwich Village. Um, because that's where the action is in a particular dream that you might have. I'm gonna stop and let this plane go by. And there's, there's two reasons, at least two, why you would want to move your whole butt, your whole establishment to another place. One is resources. You know, Arnold Schwarzenegger left Austria way back when, came to Gold's Gym in Venice, California, because they didn't have the resources in Europe to train and to become what he wanted to be. But the second half of that is people. Like, in my own case, when I decided that I wanted to try to write for the movies, this was like 30 years ago, I was in New York, and I just packed up my cat, I packed up my typewriter, my Chevy van, I came out here to LA, and it was the best move I ever made. And one of the reasons, I'll just, there are many, many, many reasons, obviously you meet people in the industry, but I'd been here about four or five years. I had a good agent who was a real good friend, but I was getting nowhere. I was just writing spec scripts and not selling them at all. And one day my agent, his name was Mike Warner, great guy, great friend, he uh, took me out for coffee and he said, what if I teamed you up with an older writer, with an established writer? He said, you would be the junior member of the team. You'd have to work your ass off, but you'd be, at least you'd be working. The older writer would be getting jobs and you'd be in meetings and so on and so forth. And I said, right away, sign me up. And Mike teamed me up with a guy named Ron Chusset, who did the original Alien, the first Alien, with his partner then, Dan O'Bannon. You remember the scene where the alien comes out of the chest of John Hurt? That was Ron's idea. At the time, he had a bunch of other projects going. So we actually, I became the junior member of this team, and we actually started working. But what happened for me was Ron became just the greatest mentor to me. And even though he wasn't actually literally instructing me, just working with him, I worked with him for about four or five years, and by the end of that time, I was really a pro. I really knew people, I knew what a story was, and I learned it all from him. I mean, we would do things like, I would throw out 10 ideas for a scene or a story or whatever it is, and Ron would immediately reject nine of them, but he would go right to the good one. And so I kind of asked him over, how do you, why did you pick that one, you know? That's a really interesting thing that you learn. You never will learn in a school. Another thing that he taught me that I really absorbed from that was the idea of acquiring other material. Not every idea has to come out of your own head. You can find short stories, option short stories, option this, option that. Find projects that are sort of abandoned, old movies that uh, never really succeeded where the, uh, the estate is frankly willing to give it away to you. So in any event, the bottom line is, I would never have learned any of that stuff if I hadn't packed up and moved out here. So put your ass where your heart wants to be. We're gonna get into real deep levels, spiritual, psychologically, and all that, but right now we're just talking about the physical. The act of actually moving your establishment from the boonies to the center of the universe and whatever your dream is, it's, a, it's everything, it means everything. Put your ass where your heart wants to be.